first into the Shark Tank tonight are two gym owners who believe they've worked out the perfect workout product. The last nine months have been pretty crazy. We started off just selling you know, a few packets a week to friends and family, and now there's orders coming all around Australia. G'day Sharks, I'm Raf. And I'm Rory. And we are Peak Chocolate. And we're here today to give you guys the opportunity to invest $50,000 for 10% of our company. Our product, Peak Chocolate, is something the health and fitness market has never seen before. It is 80% cacao, dark chocolate, infused with a special formulation of supplements and caffeine. We provide a new alternative to morning coffees and energy drinks. We're looking to take advantage of three booming markets at the moment. Dark chocolate, coffee, and sports supplements. As successful gym owners and athletes, we've used our contacts in the industry and our names to get this product out in the market. But it's not just a new product. We've created a new category entirely. High performance, dark chocolate. Raf and I compete in the sport of CrossFit. And as athletes, we were sick of mixing multiple powders into our shaker bottles and constantly running to the coffee shop. We then discovered some research on dark chocolate and its ability to enhance mental and physical performance. It was delicious, satisfying, and caused a release of the happy hormone known as dopamine. It was the perfect performance boosting snack. We used to have a bag of supplements to the gym, and now we just have a packet of peak. And we're gonna share our peak with you sharks to try today. Great. Did my last again. Oh. I've never been delivered mine first ever. We've done research, you're no, the least but... liked. Dreadful. Thank you very much, Ref. Better. Nice packaging, I like that. Thank you, yeah. Thanks, Ref. Yeah, that's $50,000 for 10%, valuing your company at 500000 Yep. So what's your background? Uh, Raf and I went to school together. We basically got straight into health and fitness after school. We've been on personal training and fitness training for the last uh, almost eight years now. We got into CrossFit gyms, so we opened one. We now have three. We've had three gyms for essentially three years. So if I'm about to have a workout, how much of this should I eat now? If you're used to drinking quite a lot of coffee, the recommended serving size of two rectangles is going to do just right Two rectangles. You'd love this, Janine. It's crammed full of chemicals. Leukine, isoline, violine all the lines, amino acids. They're actually some of the really beneficial branched-chain amino acids. Some of the really Sorry. beneficial chemicals. So he, he They're just... some of the really beneficial chemicals. You're all. Yeah. I have to tell you, it tastes pretty good, though. It's now a good there's... chocolate. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and in terms of all the supplements that we use, a company called True Protein that already sponsored Rory as an athlete because he's in the top 10 fittest men in Australia, and they top do... Top 10 most fittest guys in Australia. Yeah. How, explain that. So the title that CrossFit uses when their athletes do particularly well in the sport is they basically call them the fittest. So uh, what Raf means when he says that is that uh, in previous years I've finished in the top 10 in the basically CrossFit category in Australia. Can you just give us a couple of... Couple Come of pull-ups? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's see, there's one. Oh my God, how easy Two, is that? Three. Four, five, <laughs> better give me ten. Six, Four, seven, seven, eight, nine. Hey, look, he's smiling when he ten. does it. Well, Good luck. I can hold this a little bit longer for you guys. Okay, that's that's a walk in the park. That's yeah. impressive. Here Come we on. go. Who's up, who's up for a bit? I'll, I'll have, have a bit of chocolate first. Here we go. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's see it. Okay. Oh, don't, don't oh. get so professional. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not so bad. One, he's going for ten. Two. Three. Just make sure we get full okay, lock out at the bottom, enough, full mate, lock I'm out. Oh, oh, four, that's enough. Oh, great job. Come off. Hang on, he's got... Oh, no, 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 no. Five. Oh. That's enough, mate. I'm worrying about something. Well done, Stevie. I didn't yeah, know you five. had that in you. So I'm guessing before the yeah. chocolate, your max pull-up was like one or maybe two, and you just hit five. So you're pre-revenue now? You don't have any customers yet? Oh, no. We've been live for nine months, and we've had $65,000 in sales and over 1,000 customers, and we have about 50 retailers of the product already. Have you got advice on packaging? It says here, engineered to accelerate muscle growth and increase in energy levels. Have you had um, legal advice on Yeah. That? Well, I'm actually uh, two subjects away from finishing my law degree. Oh, mate. <laughs> You're not quite a bush lawyer. That's awesome. 
To say engineering to accelerate muscle growth, have you got clinical trials to prove that? Sorry, can you say that Clinical again? trials, have you got clinical proof? Clinical trials? Well, yeah, so dark chocolate, one of the reasons... No, 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 mm. about that product, mm. have you proof? You need to finish your law degree because you are screwing up big time here and sometimes a little bit of knowledge is dangerous. So have you got proof that this does what it says it's going to do? To answer your question, we do not have proof for the synergistic effect of the chocolate and the supplements together. You've said here scientifically proven supplements. What science has proven this is true? What we're referring to with the packet is basically that the three supplements, the caffeine, the creatine and the branched chain amino acids, are three of the most heavily researched misleading. supplements in the market. That is misleading. At the moment, you're making health claims that aren't proven, mm -hmm. which means it's against the law. So I would seriously think about repackaging because there's a number of things on here that are just simply against the food standards codes. You need to get good legal advice, maybe someone who's finished their course, to actually do it because <laughs> this is actually quite scary. Hey, um, look, uh, Raf from Rory. That's the difference between people who read something on Wikipedia and sell billions of smoothies. I don't know her background, but I'm just guessing that she might have faced a regulator or two and probably copped a lot of uh, regulatory advice Definitely. along the way. So you need to listen to that advice. Please take a look at everything that's been highlighted here. But look, good luck and uh, I'm out. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks. How come a law student has gone into a gym which is now into chocolate? We're moving on from gym, so we um, have to move into peak chocolate because uh, we love supplements, we love everything about it. Oh, so you're selling your gyms? No, we're not. Um, I but you said just... you're moving on from them. Yeah, just with our focus. So, oh, so, <laughs> the, so what's going to happen to the poor gyms <laughs> when your focus comes over here? Well, we've actually got a really good managing and coaching staff now. We've been operating the gyms for about three years. Has so... that manager got equity? Sorry? No, no, they don't. No, they so don't. So what happens when they leave? Well, that's the really good thing about having three gyms, is we essentially have three managers. So any manager at the various gyms is capable of picking up the slack. I love businesses that run Rory, themselves. Rory, good answer. It's she, a crap she answer. doesn't like you multitasking. The fact you came up with an idea and now you're pursuing it, supported by the fact you've got a good cash flow coming out of your gym. Raf and Rory, I uh, applaud your ingenuity. Great job on running some gyms and showing that you can sort of manage a business. But for me, you're just too early. On this one, I'm out. Yeah, thanks. The fact that you guys are positioned in the fitness market, I have no doubt you're going to sell a whole bunch of units. Whether that becomes really commercial and really exciting, that's going to be the future, and I wish you luck. Uh, don't give up your day job. I'm out. Great business, think you need to finish your degree. Congratulations, it's a beautiful looking product. But for this deal, I'm out. <laughs> yep, thanks for the advice. Okay, one shark left. Um, what I like about you guys is uh, a number of things. Um, one, that you've actually proven record that you actually can run a business. I'm a dark chocolate eater. I mean, I do, I do like it and I understand the benefits of it and you know, certainly the French live a lot longer because of their dark chocolate. The, um, I've expressed today some concerns. You cannot make health claims, full stop. Like, stop it. But that can be overcome. So I do like it. I do like it, I think we can get across all of that. And I, I would need to get some, some science behind it. So I like it. I really like it. I'd really like to do a deal. Really? Successful gym owners Raf and Rory are in the Shark Tank, seeking $50,000 for a 10% stake in peak chocolate. Four sharks are out. But at the moment, you're making health claims that aren't proven, which means it's against the law. But after giving the boys a hard time, Janine might be circling back for a bite. So I like it. I really like it. I'd really like to do a deal. Really? Raf is actually co-host of the number one health and fitness podcast in Australia. Raf's essentially got 70,000 loyal listeners, and as soon as he drops this on the podcast, straight away we're going to have a huge demand for chocolate. 
you want to have another piece to make a decision or? The only way you've got three successful gyms is because you put your heart and soul in it. And by you having a split focus, that is a fundamental flaw in this being a success. I'm out. Cool. Thanks Good luck much. to you guys. It's a great Thank looking you. package, luck, by the way. Yeah, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You're on your way. Well, why is it the fact you, you like the French eat dark chocolate? We don't like when they eat like duck fat and other bits and pieces. I do. Like that. The French diet's amazing. You do not. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs>